Hi all, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to use ngrok to make your local NA10 installation accessible from internet. If you are running NA10 locally, you have probably faced issues with connecting webhooks or external services. That's where ngrok comes in. It creates a secure public URL for your local instance, allowing you to integrate with web services like Telegram, WhatsApp, Stripe or any API that requires an internet accessible endpoint if you don't already have an na10 local installation you can follow my video on how you can install na10 locally i have provided the link in the video description tools we need to make your local na10 installation available on internet are na10 na10 stands for node mation na10 is a powerful workflow automation tool which allows you to connect different applications and services automate tasks and build complex workflows visually it is similar to automation tools like zapier and make.com then we will need ngrok ngrok is a tool that creates secure tunnels to expose your local server to the internet it's commonly used for testing webhooks running local servers remotely and bypassing firewall restrictions ngrok generates a temporary public url that routes traffic to your local machine making it perfect for na10 webhooks API testing and remote access. The very first step is to download ngrok. Here I am on the ngrok.com website. Go to get ngrok option, then click on this download button. Here we are on the download page. Ngrok is available for different operating systems as you can see here. Select the version compatible with your operating system. I selected Windows as I have a windows laptop now click on this download button this will allow you to download a standalone executable file and then run the installer there are different architecture options are available here you can click on this drop down box to select the one that is suitable to your computer i am using windows 64 bit hence i have selected download for windows 64 bit then click on this download button then change to the directory where you want to download the file and then click on this save button then navigate to the directory where you have saved the downloaded file then right click on the downloaded zip file and click on the extract all button choose the destination folder and then click on this extract button you can see the ngrok file has been extracted into this directory location then move the extracted ngrok file to a directory where it can be easily accessed let me click on this then select cut option then move to ngrok directory and let me paste it here now i know i have the ngrok.exe file in my ngrok directory next we need to authenticate your ngrok account to do that open a terminal or a command prompt let me type in cmd and select the command prompt now again let us go to the ngrok website this is the step that we are going to do you need to sign up for a, an ngrok account click on this sign up button there are different ways in which you can sign up for the ngrok account i will sign up with my google account let me click on this sign up with google then you need to enter your email id here follow the on screen prompts depending on the way you chose to sign up then you will be taken into the ngrok.com dashboard in order to find your auth token click on this your auth token option on the left hand side here here it will show you your personal auth token now click on this copy button to copy your auth token then come back to the command prompt type in the command ngrok space auth token space then paste your auth token and then hit enter then you can verify whether ngrok is installed correctly by typing in ngrok space version in the command prompt we can see the ngrok is installed successfully since it is giving the version number 3.20 next we will be using ngrok to expose your local na10 installation to the internet now switch back to your ngrok website here i am in the ngrok website you will get one free static domain with the free account that you can use for webhooks this free static domain name is assigned by ngrok and you will not be able to select the name click on the domains option on the left hand side here here you have some description about the domains it is saying domains allow you to customize the endpoints you create with ngrok they accept http https and tls traffic then we can do this 
in three ways you can claim your free static domain this domain is associated with your account forever you can also reserve subdomains but for that you need to be on a paid plan you can also bring your own domain that also requires a paid plan now click on this create domain button you can see here a domain name has been created for you now that you have your domain created let us create an endpoint by starting a tunnel here you can see it is saying start a tunnel from the command line and then you can copy and paste this command in your terminal click on this copy button here i pasted the command this command will create the tunnel for you your domain name is specified after this url parameter and then you will replace the port number 80 with your own port number by default na10 is installed on 5678 so i am using 5678 port number here then press enter now ngrok will generate a public url that you can use to access your local na10 installation now you can click on this url to check if your na10 instance shows up in the browser here is the domain name and here it is my local installation is showing up perfectly now another important step we need to perform is to update the webhook url environment variable with ngrok endpoint to do that we will modify docker compose file with webhook underscore url environment variable set to point to ngrok endpoint that we just created find the directory where your docker dash compose dot yml file is located on my laptop i have this docker dash compose dot yml file in this specific directory location then right click on the docker compose file and then click on open with notepad you can open it with any text editor find the environment section in your docker compose file usually you will find it in the beginning of your docker compose file then add this webhook underscore url environment variable pointing to your own domain that has been generated by ngrok then click on the file and then save button to save your changes now in order for the environment variable to take effect we are going to delete the docker containers and recreate them if you have many na10 workflows then it might be a good idea to backup your workflows in case if anything goes wrong you will be able to restore them again open up a command prompt window make sure you are in the directory where your docker compose file is located and then type the command docker dash compose space down and hit enter you can see the containers are being removed now then type in the command docker dash compose space up space dash d and hit enter now confirm the environment variable is set by typing in this command docker space exec space na10 space print env space webhook underscore url and hit enter you can see it has displayed our ngrok endpoint this confirms that the variable is set correctly if you need help building automated lead generations setting up cold email machines for your marketing campaigns please reach out to me. If you found this video useful, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comment section if there is any specific topic you want to be covered. Bye until next video.